What do you do when your player wants to play a species that doesn't exist within your TTRPG's realm? And it's not that big of an ask. Well, make it. Why not? When you do things like this for your players, your players are going to be a lot more invested. They're going to have a way better time. And also, it's not that big of a deal. I had a player one time say, hey, I want to play somebody who is more born from the divine. Not like an Azamar who has like the celestial heritage, but like actual divinity. So I made up a whole species. I made up the godlings. They are essentially like the seed of what a demigod could be. They continuously grow in divine energy as like they level up. And when they get to certain levels, they're able to start ascending a bit. I gave them little abilities like they were able to create an aura around themselves where they could intimidate or awe people, you know, have a little bit of that divine magic. I also gave like a few other little abilities here and there, but it wasn't a big deal. I was able to do it in probably like 20, 30 minutes, right? Sat down, got it done, threw it over to them, gave them the plus two, plus one, wherever they want, and they were happy. They made their character. I also made a fun thing where the godlings actually wanted to eat each other. And when they ate each other, they absorbed that other one's divine energy. And they just kept growing stronger. So you had these godlings that were like a wide variety. Some could look more human. Some could be like piles of inanimate objects. Like all sorts of really fun things. I had one that was a news. But yeah. So when it comes to creating these different species that your players are interested in. Maybe they saw them in a movie. Maybe they saw them in an anime. Maybe they're reading a book. It's not that big of a deal. Make the species have happy players and have them way more immersed in the game than they ever were going to be since the beginning.